Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is a 60 minute yoga conditioning class. It's part three of the Strong Body Calm Mind series of classes. And this particular class is quite a creative sequence and it's mostly adaptable and accessible for all levels. Uh, and in practice, we focus on building strength, mobility, and balance. And for practice today, you may need a few props, uh, a block if possible, uh, if not a tissue box, same size, same dimensions, because we won't be doing any weight bearing on it, a blanket, and ideally in your yoga space, floorboards or tiles. But if you don't have these available to you, I've offered adaptations so you can practice along on your mat. And if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy this one. Namaste. And begin your practice kneeling at the back of your mat in Vajrasana. Or take a comfortable alternative if your knees don't like deep flexion. Resting your hands into your lap. Gently closing your eyes once you're situated. Softly scanning your shape, making any subtle adjustments. So you feel open across the chest and the shoulders tall through the sides of your neck, easefully upright through your spine. Breathe now into this open, receptive space, letting your breath expand from your belly in all directions on your inhale. Then feel your breath rinsing out of your lungs. Follow the pathway over each breath in, and out, full and complete, cultivating an even, easeful rhythm. And as you flow through this movement practice today, keep in mind that in the tradition of yoga, one of the intentions of the asana practice is to fortify us physically and mentally so we're more able to sit in meditation for longer with less discomfort. And this series is all about building this physical strength and to call upon a calm state of presence even when we're feeling challenged so you can feel empowered and strong and calm in your practice and in life, whatever your intentions. And your breath and the way you breathe is the bridge between this feeling and your physical body. So whether you're resting or moving at whatever point during the practice, your breath is the most important, directly influences your energy and your experience. Take three more cycles of breath here. And as you feel yourself breathe out, nod your chin toward your chest. Gently blink the eyes open, take your gaze forward. We'll begin with some warming movement for your shoulders, your hands and your wrists. Interlace your fingers into a knot at your heart centre. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your fists forward, round your spine, chin toward your chest. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, flip your palms, lift up out of your side waist. And then exhale, release your hands, spread your fingers, roll your wrists as you lower your hands back down by your sides. Again, hands into a knot at your heart centre, breathing in. Exhale, pull your fists forward, round into your back. 
Inhale, arms over here, turn your palms inside out. And then this time, release the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Staying upright, breathing in. Exhale and fold forward over your legs, any amount, floating your arms away from your back in your comfortable range. Breathing in, keep the hands interlaced, rising up. On your exhale, turn your hands to face the floor and stretch down. Inhale now, release and raise your arms to the height of your shoulders, palms up. Then bend the elbows, touch your fingers to the top of your shoulders. Drawing three circles with your elbows, roll your elbows forward, up and back. And moving slow, feeling the movement of your shoulder blades. And then roll it back in the other direction. And then extend your arms forward, palms up. Make fists with your hands, then turn your knuckles down. Keeping your arms engaged, roll just your wrists. And then circle back in the opposite direction. And then release and transition onto all fours. Spreading out through your fingers, setting your hands under the shoulders, knees, under the hips. Wave through three rounds of cat and cow, inhaling to arch your spine into cow pose, and then exhaling to round your spine into cat. Inviting your full breath in and out to overlap your movement. And then meet me in a neutral spine, pop up onto the fingertips, tuck your toes under and then press back toward a child's pose. And then we'll flow now coming up onto all fours, arch your spine, soften your belly. Exhale and round, drift your buttocks to your heels. Twice more on the fingertips and toes. And then returning to all fours, plant your palms flush with the mat now and step your knees back a few inches so they're on a diagonal from your hips. And then lift your feet, cross at the ankles. So for more challenge here, we've got some push-ups coming up. You can straighten the legs. Concentrate on your form here. We'll take five push-ups for your triceps, the back of your arms, and five reps for your chest muscles. Inhaling here, exhale, lead your chest forward through your arms and lower halfway. Just pause, see that the back of your skull is in line with your spine, your head's not dropping, chest is open. And then on an inhale, push back up. Four more, keeping your elbows brushing your side ribs, low belly engaged. Pause at your upper push-up. Next round, hands the width of your shoulders, then angle your thumbs and fingers in. So elbows go wide in this variation, working your chest, shoulders and your upper back. Lower on your exhale. Inhale to lift. Four more in your own time.
And then as you're ready, take the next few breaths to ease back into a child's pose. Take a breath or two. And then pressing back into a downward facing dog. Shepherding your awareness to feel each new breath. Chance to settle and release on each outbreath. Moving your hips, pedaling your heels. And then we'll take the heat out of the wrists, eyes forward. End of your exhale, step lightly to the top of your mat, placing your feet hips width apart. Open up halfway, hands to shins, extend your spine. Exhale, fold and release and hold there. Slipping your palms under the soles of your feet with Padangustasana, gorilla arms. And then inching your toes toward your wrist creases. Little bend in the knees, lightly tipping your weight forward into your hands. And then lifting up through your hands as you resist with the feet. So you can feel that lengthening into the back of your wrist. Sense your breath calm and slow, regrouping. Take two more cycles of breath. And then stepping off your hands now, if you have floorboards or tiles in your practice area and you'd like to challenge your core for our sun salutations, place a blanket just off to the side of your mat in preparation now. If that's not available to you, no worries. We'll simply flow along on your mat, no props. Surya Namaskar A. As you're ready, gently rolling up through your spine, make your way to stand. Prayer hands to your heart. We'll move through four rounds, Surya Namaskar A. We'll set up our flow on the mat. And then if you have that option, final three rounds on the sliding prop. Next inhale, raise your arms overhead, send your gaze up. Exhale, soft forward fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, open your chest forward. Exhale, step, step to plank and pause. Hold here for a few breath, long and strong through your front body. And on an exhale now, slowly lower to your belly. You can drop the knees down to the floor if you'd like to modify. Inhale together, cobra pose. Exhale, slow transition here, tuck your toes, knees or no knees, press back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three, steady breaths in and out. Looking forward and then step or hop to the top of your mat. Open on your inhale, fold and release on your exhale. Rise slow to stand, sweep the arms overhead, gaze up. Exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. Adding on now, same sequence with an optional core challenge. If you're taking that option, stepping off your mat, onto your blanket if that's available. We'll all meet in Tadasana. On an inhale, raise your arms overhead, send your gaze up. Exhale, soft forward fold over the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, open your chest forward. Then exhale, plant your palms flush ahead of your feet, bend the knees. Slowly slide the legs back towards straight for plank. Hold here, firmly engage your side waist in toward your navel, holding in plank if you're on your mat and you're not sliding today, and then exhale, slowly lower to your belly. Inhale together, cobra pose. 
And again, slow transition, tuck your toes, knees or no knees, press back plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or slide your feet in a little. Take three steady breaths in and out. And just notice there's a little extra effort required to hold your form with the element of instability that the blanket under your feet adds. So it's great for improving core stability, control of body awareness. On your inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, slowly slide or step the feet to the top of your mat. Open on your inhale, fold and release on your exhale. Rise slow to stand, sweep the arms overhead. Lower your hands to prayer at your heart. Two more rounds. Inhale, reach your arms tall overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, set your hands, slide or step to plank. Inhale here in your plank. Exhale, lower to your belly or chaturanga, hover. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, press back, plank, downward facing dog. Three breaths, breathing in and breathing out in your own time. Final round, looking forward, bend the knees, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise, come to stand. Exhale, pause, hands to prayer, Tadasana. Inhale, arms overhead. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your chest away from your legs. Exhale, hands to mat. Slide or step to plank. Pause in your plank, take a breath. Exhale to lower. Inhale, your back bend. Try and hold your form here on your exhale. Spread your effort, core and shoulders. Press back, plank. Downward facing dog. Breathing in together, full and clear. Exhale, empty. Two more steady breaths. Eyes forward on your inhale. Exhale, step or slowly slide, top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Come to stand, grow long, reach tall. Hands to prayer. And stepping back on your mat if you're using the blanket, coming into Dadasana, equal standing pose. And let this be a way of centering, a moment of pause. Let's make contact with your breath. Next inhale, raise your arms overhead, gaze up, spot your thumbs. Forward fold with your out breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Soften your right knee to the floor. And here, walk your hands up onto the top of your right thigh. Take a few moments to steady your lower body for the next sequence. So weighting all three points of your left foot into the mat. Big toe, little toe, centre of your heel. Then add a light contraction to your right buttocks as if you're pressing your sit bone forward. And you might like to pad your right knee with a blanket for this sequence. So keeping all those actions, make a cross in front of your chest with your hands. This flow looks quite innocent but it's quite challenging and hopefully you'll feel your whole body working together to stabilize you especially your core so we'll move slower mindfully here on your exhale round your upper back 
bow forward toward your left thigh and then lift your chest back up and extend your heart toward the ceiling, perhaps looking up. Come back to centre. Exhale, round forward. And then up toward the ceiling, expanding the front of your chest. One more time, round over your left thigh. Then extend your upper back toward the ceiling. Back to centre. Now on an exhale, side bend to your right. Centre on your inhale. Side bend to your left. And then back to centre. We'll put it all together now. Side bend to your right. Round forward over your thigh. Side bend to your left. And then up toward the ceiling, baby back bend. Then neutralize your spine coming upright. Once more, circle back, side bend your left. Forward over your thigh, keep stabilizing your lower body. Side bend over to your right. Then extend into your light back bend, looking up, back to center. On your inhale now, reach your arms overhead, grow long. And then exhale, place your fingertips under your shoulders to the floor, rock back into the half splits, Ardha Hanuman. So you're working towards straightening your left leg. Lengthen your chest forward with a new breath. And then exhale, fold over your left leg. Once more, breathing in. And breathing out. Relunge your left leg. Transition into gate pose. Pivot your right foot behind you. Straighten your left leg. Turn and face the long edge of your mat. Coming upright. Take your hands to the back of your head. Inhale here. Exhale, side bend to your right. Stay there on your inhale. Stretch your arms straight. Frame your ears. Exhale, hands to the back of your head, and then come back to center. Three more in the same direction. Two more. Last one. Coming back to centre, reach your arms wide. And on your exhale, we mill your hands to the floor top of your mat. Step back to plank pose. Take a vinyasa or press back to your downward facing dog. We'll all meet up there. And second side, we're going to step the right foot forward to your thumbs. Tap your left knee to the floor. Find your low lunge. Hands to the top of your right thigh, patting your left knee if that was helpful on the other side. Your right foot, left knee staggered as wide as your hips for balance. Cross your arms over your chest, take a breath in. Exhale round into a cat back, bow forward over your right thigh. Lift your chest on your inhale, gaze up into a cow back. Exhale to round forward and inhale up toward the ceiling, your sternum lifts. Once more round over your right thigh, then extend your upper back toward the ceiling, back to centre. Take a breath in, exhale side bend to your left. Center on your inhale, side bend to your right, and back to center. All together now, side bend your left, round forward over your thigh, side bend to your right, and then up toward the ceiling, baby back bend, then neutralize your spine coming upright. 
Once more, circling back, side bend over to your right. Forward over your thigh. Over to your left. Then extend into your light back bend. Look up. Back to centre. Next breath in, raise your arms overhead. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor, under the shoulders, make your way into Ardha Hanuman, half splits. Right leg towards straight, toes flexed. Lengthen your chest forward with your next breath. And then fold over your leg. Once more, breathing in. Breathing out to fold. Relunge your right leg. Transition into gate pose, pivot your left foot behind you, straighten your right leg, facing the long edge of your mat, and then hands to the back of your head. Inhale here, exhale side bend to your left, inhale stay, on this diagonal extend your arms straight, exhale hands to the back of your head and then come back to centre. Three more, same direction. Working your side oblique muscles. Gently press your hips forward, anchor your right foot. I've lost count. <laughs> Coming back to centre when you're ready. Reach your arms out wide. Stretch from fingertip to fingertip. Hand then hands to the floor top of your mat and either flow back through your vinyasa or downward facing dog. Breath or two here to settle. And on your inhale now, raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. Exhale one time, core lunge in the air, coil in. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot to your hands, come into a high lunge. Take a few breaths to find your steady footing, feet staggered. Frontal hip points are lifting, tall through your low back spine. And then lower your hands to your heart centre. From here, we're going to alternate stepping forward and back. So aim to keep your right knee bent, right hip hugging in to stabilize. Inhale here. Exhale, step the left foot up next to your right into a standing squat, chair legs. Same leg, step your left foot back into a high lunge. Find a stable rhythm, continue on stepping forward and back. And keeping your right sitting bone nice and low as you go. Hold your steady focus to keep your balance. Last two. And then as you're ready, land back in your lunge. Pause for a twist, revolving to your right on your exhale. If you're feeling the heat in the legs, you might like to soften your left knee to the floor and open your twist, left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky to modify. Just gently turning your left ribs toward your inner right thigh. Just keep breathing a nice steady breath. Breast coming up and then release hands to the floor. Walk a quarter turn around to your left for Prasarita Padottanasana, wide legged fold. Heels out, toes in, on your fingertips, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale and fold in, enjoy the rest, re lengthening into the back of your legs. And if it doesn't feel restful, place a little bend in your knees. So you can tilt your pelvis, free your hamstrings and invite your low back to release as well. Five steady breaths.
On your inhale, lift up halfway. Then walk around to your right foot for a runner's lunge. This time optional, step back to a three-point plank. So you keep your right foot lifted. Exhale, chaturanga, low push-up. Inhale, upper dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll keep it rolling. Left side now, raise your left leg up and back on a new breath. Exhale, core lunge in the air. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, step up, high lunge. Take your time to arrive steady, upright your spine. Feel your feet into the mat. And then lower your hands to prayer. Take a breath in. Step forward into your low squat on your exhale. And then just moving with the pace of your own breath rhythm, stepping back and up. Last few. And land back in your lunge. Firm your back thigh. Stay for a twist, your version. Twisting to your left. So right knee could be lifted or grounded. Just practicing an even breath in and out. And release, hands to the floor, walking around to your right now for wide-legged fold. Station your fingertips under the shoulders, lift your spine parallel with the floor. And then exhale, fold between your legs. And lifting up onto the fingertips, walking around to your left foot, runner's lunge, and step back. Three point plank, flow through your vinyasa, arriving back in your downward facing dog. Pedal and stretch, and then equalize that downward pressure in both hands so you feel your arm bones grow a little longer. Then let your head rest heavy, your gaze fall still. Last few breaths here. And looking forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath. Rise to stand with the wave of your in-breath. Exhale, pause, Tadasana, hands to prayer. Make contact with your breath. We're going to make our way into a balancing sequence before we land down on the mat, working on strengthening uh, the outer hips here. So transfer your weight here onto your right foot, pick up your left foot, bend your knee, press your palms flush, and then very slowly aim your prayer hands down toward the floor to your right, as if you're trying to put something down there, and then carefully coming back up, and then steer your hands over to your left toward the floor. So keep alternating here. We'll do two more each side. Aware of your whole body, the parts of your body working to stabilize you. Your glutes and your outer hip. 
and the parts that are also out of sight working to counterbalance your weight. And then when you're ready, coming back through centre, two feet down to the floor, take a moment to pause, steady and grounded. And then second side, balancing on your left foot, raise your right foot, bend your right knee. In your own time, lower your hands down and over to the left. Slowly return through centre and over to your right. Twice more, each side. And as you're ready to return to centre, two feet down and pause. Toe heel your feet wide away from one another now. We'll set up for Malasana Yogi Squat. On your inhale, circle your arms overhead. Exhale, pray your hands right through the centre, lower down into your comfortable version of malasana, maybe a little elevated or all the way down. Pressing down through your outer feet so you feel that energetic lift through your spine. And lightly pressing your elbows into the inner knees to widen the gate of the pose. And either stay here, final few breaths. Or option to launch into crow pose, back asana, if that's in your practice. Bring your feet together, hands to the floor, knees to your upper arms. Looking forward and then lifting the feet. Stay for three, two, one and release. Let's all meet up in a seat, knees bent, feet to the floor, and then set your hands behind you, fingertips facing the front edge of your mat. Then elevate your buttocks, start to walk your hands back, coming into reverse tabletop. Landing your hands under the shoulders, your knees under your heels, knees over your heels, <laughs> pressing down where you touch down so you can lift your back body. Take a breath in. On your exhale, bend your elbows straight back and lower your buttocks to a hover. Inhale, come on back up. <laughs> Keep going, tricep dips. So you're trying to share the effort to lift with your arms and your feet. So you press down through your heels and also a light squeeze to your buttocks as you lift. And just the last few here. And then hold in your reverse table. Walk your hands a little wider away from one another. And on your exhale, just experiment with this. Swing your buttocks back in between your arms, straighten your legs, flex your feet. If you can, hover the buttocks. And then on an inhale, sweep forward to a tabletop. On your exhale, you swing back, if you can, buttocks lifted. Once more, forward and back. And then take a seat. Well done. We'll release with a forward fold. On your inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Take a few resting breaths. Letting go of the effort in your arms.
and release. We'll recline down now. Grab your block as you go. If you don't have a block, just simply follow along prop free in an imaginary way. So we've got a final gift for your abdominals before we cool down. Hug your knees in toward your chest as you arrive. And then take your block now on its longest setting and wedge it in between your right elbow and your right knee. And then your right hand supports the back of your head. Bring your knees together into a tabletop position. And then on your inhale, lengthen your left arm behind you, extend your left leg long. On your exhale, contract in. Inhale, stretch away. Exhale, curl in. Three more. Aim to keep your low back connected to the floor as you move. Last one. Curl in and hold there. And then release, relax your head to the floor, step your feet to the mat and rest. Next round now, take your block again. We'll take it over to the right knee, same side, but this time we'll twist and hold the position of the block with the left elbow. Rest both your hands if you can behind the back of your head for support. Then extend your left leg out long, flex your toes, let your foot hover. Stay in your twist, inhale here. Exhale, raise your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Four more. Try and lift both your shoulders from the floor, keeping that twisted position as you lower and lift. Last one. And then release and lower. Final one in this set now. We're going to lift the knees into a tabletop position and then place the block to the top of your shins. Hands interlace behind the back of your head, head and shoulders lifted. Extend just your legs forward, breathing in. Exhale, return the knees back over the hips. Balancing the block, keep going. Last few here, if you'd like to add on, as your knees come in, reach forward, take the block with your hands, then inhale, reach the block overhead and your legs away. Exhale, bring the block forward, place it onto the shins and then inhale, arms go overhead, legs away, balancing the block. Exhale, reach for your block as the knees come in. Inhale, take the block overhead, legs away. Exhale, come back to centre and release. Rest your feet, shoulders and head back down. Second side here, last little bit of effort, taking the block now, wedge it in between your left elbow, your left knee, left hand to the back of your head, bring your knees together into a tabletop, and then on an inhale, lengthen your right arm behind you, extend the right leg forward and straight, exhale, contract in, inhale, stretch out, exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Three more. Last one, you're going to curl in and hold. And then release, relax your head to the floor. Step your feet to the mat. And then take the block to your left knee again. Twist and hold the position of the block with your right elbow. Rest your hands to the back of your head for support. Extend your right leg out long, hovering. Flex your toes. Inhale here. 
Exhale, raise your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale and lower. Four more. And release and lower to bent knees. Final one, you've got this. Take the knees into a tabletop position. Place your block, balance it on your shins. Lift your head, neck and shoulders, hands interlaced behind the back of your head. Elbows stay wide here, eyes up. Extend your legs forward on your inhale. Exhale, return the knees back over the hips. Keep going. Either stay with this or last few. If you'd like to add on as the knees come in, take the block into your hands. Inhale, arms overhead, legs away. Exhale, arms forward, block to your shins. Inhale, arms overhead, legs away. Exhale, reach for the block as the knees come in. Take the block overhead, legs reach away. Exhale, centre, release, rest. Block off to one side, gather the knees in toward your chest. Cooling down now, balancing out, we'll lengthen into the front abdominals. Place your feet to the floor, we'll move through one round of fish pose, followed by one round of bridge pose, but feel free to adapt here, two rounds of bridge or Perhaps even bridge with a block for support under your buttocks as alternatives if fish doesn't agree with you. If you're following along with me, transitioning into Matsyasana, place your hands under your buttocks, palms down, extending the legs out straight. And then on your inhale, ballooning your chest toward the ceiling, pressing down through your forearms, your elbows, lightly tipping your head back. Come to rest on the top of your head if that's comfortable. Just feeding your breath into your front body, down to your belly. And you're welcome to open and close your mouth to release and open the jaw there. And then slowly reversing out of the pose, chin to chest. Lower your torso, bend the knees. Release your hands. Let's take a moment to pause. And then moving into your bridge pose or your own variation if that feels best here. Feet about hips width apart. Arms alongside your body. And then lifting up as you're ready. So you can interlace your fingers underneath your body or catch your hands around the edges of your mat. Next few breaths, actively press down where your arms and shoulders meet the mat. Then rather than going for height here, create space through the front of your spine by reaching your hips away from your chest. Find an even, equal breath in. Equal breath out. Take two more. Release, lowering down. Undo the arms, just gather the knees in toward your chest. Then step the left foot to the floor now. We'll move into a quad stretch. Take your right toes under your left leg and set them behind the back of your left heel and then invite your right knee to relax down toward the floor. So for more sensation and you have that range, you might, might like to reach down and connect your left hand to your right toes, drawing your right heel in a little closer toward your left buttocks. Just softening your effort now. 
Deliberately breathing a longer breath out. And ushering your awareness and your breath to where you can feel sensation. And inviting yourself to soften, relax into the shape. And transitioning into a twist, fold and stack your left knee over your right, tee out your arms, rest the knees over to your right, send your gaze out to the left. And then coming back through centre, knees hug in, realign your spine. And then right foot to the mat, left heel, left foot, left toes hook behind the right heel or reach down with your right hand for your left foot. Letting your knee relax down toward the floor. And then release your bind if you have one there. Fold the knees to your left now for your twist. And then come back to centre, final release. Before rest, happy baby pose. Split the knees wide, catch and hold the outer edges of your feet or the back of your knees and draw your knees down in the direction of your armpits. Resting, releasing through the length of your spine, the inner thighs. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And release. We'll take a final few minutes here to rest in Shavasana, gathering gathering any additional layers or props for comfort, and then reclining back. Set your feet nice and wide. Let your toes fall out to the sides. Place your arms a little away from your body, palms up. Shuffle out any restlessness from your body, really get comfortable. And then ask your body to be still and quiet now. Sense your heels bearing down into the floor. And then feel the weight of your shoulders and your arms recede back. And just cultivating a feeling of calm. And try and absorb that feeling through your whole body. You're just letting go, encouraging your body to relax and to open into the space around you, from your head all the way down to your toes. Resting now for the next couple of minutes. I'll be back to guide you back.
and breathe a deeper breath. Gently waking up, wriggling the toes and the fingers. And then bending your knees, take your feet to the floor. And gently roll out to your right side. Let the eyes fall open, welcome the light in, softly drag your way back up to seat. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope as you move through the rest of your day, you feel strong and calm. Your day feels sweeter and more energized. Namaste.